you can use these rockets to blow holes, make another doorway, if you will, in the side of the building. To so, uh, I gave the order for them to use the missiles on the building. So we hit it, and uh, then we stormed into the building. And there was uh, there was um, two fourteen. Well, looked but about a fourteen year old kid, a six year old kid, and a young uh, maybe a, this could have been her husband. I couldn't tell because he was so messed up, and a woman that was bleeding, but not. Not severely, and all she was she was screaming, "Why, Laish, Laish?" And um, and I I broke down. I I I leaned up against the wall, and I was, as my rest of my Marines cleared through the building, and I sat there with the corpsman trying to do something about it. But I started to cry. I started to cry. I wanted to rip my hair out, what hair I did have, and go nuts. And the woman, seeing my reaction, came up to me and put her hand on my cheek and said, Inshallah, which is God's will. Because these people over there, it doesn't matter what bad things happen to them, that they'll, they'll, they can accept it right away as God's will because they're deeply religious. But no, it wasn't God's will. It was my fucking word. No. And neither is what's happening here. It's these people trying to strip other people of that faith, of any faith, and turn them into soulless, demonic entities. And they've done a damn good job in this country, haven't they? Yeah. I gave the I gave the order to fire those rockets into that building, and I killed her family. And uh, that's when I knew that I was put in a situation where I had to do that. I thought I had to do that to keep my myself and my Marines alive, thinking that well, man, that was the best thing I could do at the time. Well, well, I have to live with that um, decision. The uh, from then on, I well, yeah, the the people that when you come home and you go in the grocery store and they're all hi and smiling, thank you for your murderous behavior. Thank you. Can I drop to my knees for you and uh, you know, do anything for you? Hint, hint, yeah, and you wonder why they kill themselves. We had the rest of that battle to go through, and I saw more, 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 more casualties, more civilians being killed. Not much different than these groupy ass horrors in the street culture, though, is it? Kind of interesting when you think about the similarities between the two cultures, right? Murder is like the the act that gets you the most high honor in this country, right? Oh, you're a murderer? Cool. Cool. But then these same people act like they're against rape. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, at, at, at what point do you say, I have to slowly back away from this situation? And all these mentally ill demonic people. And get the fuck out of here. A little late for that, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I've been I've been here a couple times. Um, I've had to go back. I went back to Grand Rapids, Michigan uh, to start school. But uh, when Lauren told me that she wanted to come back, I, uh, I, I, I had to come back. Um, on the 26th of August, I lost a...